Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Rachel. <laughs> Yeah. Sable? Rachel. Hey. Um, first things first, where did you come from? I'm from Sunderland, <laughs> Massachusetts. It's a super small town, western side of Massachusetts. Cool. No um, did you always want to be a musician? Uh, I remember when I was younger, the first thing I wanted to be was a vet. Um, but that, that just went away very fast. Um, I was interested in music my whole life. My parents were musicians. Um, and I took on a love for theater first before, like, I really got into hardcore music. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's always been surrounding me, so it kind of makes sense yeah. that I went this route. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, so where, who are your musical influences, like, growing up and now? Uh, growing up, I was a huge Jonas Brother fan. <laughs> Um, oh my God. but I mean, now, uh, uh, musical influences, well, my favorite band is Lainey. Um, I love their stuff. I love, uh, how they write in a very literal sense. Cause that's kind of the way I write. Um, Amy Shark, Gordy, um, a Ron Pope I listened to a lot when I was first starting out music. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of the same stuff I do, like the indie pop, singer yeah. songwriter. Band. Yeah. I love Ron Pope. Yeah. Um, it's a mess. Um, biggest influence, inspiration for writing a song, when writing a song. My biggest inspiration. Yeah. So, like, what do you think of when you write a song? So it, it's so hard for me to just Say sit thing. down and be like, oh, I'm gonna write a song right now. I yeah. have to be influenced emotionally. Yeah. And uh, I don't write a lot of happy songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So normally something <laughs> happens to me that you're like, you know, romantically or. Um, I take a lot of inspiration from stories of friends, and that's mm -hmm. how I started out writing a lot of my songs. Was nothing was about me. It was just all the like stories I heard from my friends. Um, but yeah, normally you know something emotional has to happen, and I have to be like in a mindset to write, or else mm -hmm. nothing will come out. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. The creative juices have to. Absolutely. Yeah. I have to be mentally there. <laughs> I can't force it all the time. You have time. to be in a particular mental yeah. state. Yeah. Um, so that that's basically goes hand in hand with my next question. Uh, what is the writing process for you like? Um, I, I have a lot of trouble. I will say that. I do have mm -hmm. a lot of trouble writing. Um, I'm a woman of few words, and I feel like when I write, I have... A verse and a chorus and then I feel like I have nothing else to say and that's like my biggest struggle writing is feeling like I say everything in such you know small amount of words that then I just run out of things to say um, but when I do start a song uh, it depends I have a whole like list in my phone of either words or a line or a phrase that has like sparked something I'd be like oh that'd be mm -hmm. cool to write a song about or I, I want to eventually write a song about this um but sometimes it starts with the words sometimes it starts with the music sometimes we'll be playing around my guitar or the piano and something will just sound good and i'll think of a melody that goes with it but mm -hmm. i i usually do everything together normally people start with one thing always but i like to kind of start with the music and the words together and then it all kind of just flows together yeah yeah that's cool um, <laughs> how long does it take you to, like, write a song from beginning to, like, finish? Oh, God. Um, or, does it, or does it vary? <laughs> Most, it, it definitely varies. <laughs> Most of my, I, I have so many, like, like I said, verses and choruses of songs, um, that aren't finished, but I'm very lucky where I have an amazing writing partner, um, my best friend Taylor, and he's, he's a genius, he can finish my sentences you know he can he yeah. can help me write that second verse he can inspire me to write mm -hmm. that um you know that bridge that I can't figure out so when I work with him it normally it takes less time yeah <laughs> yeah that's cool like we I mean I've started a song um and then I ended up finishing it with him we just did like a, tw a 10 hour session and we just kind of banged Damn. it out which is you know some people think it's long some people think it's short but it normally takes me on the longer side yeah. To be totally happy with something. Cool. Like, so in a span of, like, a couple of days or just, like, ten hours straight and then you, like, finish a song? Oh, it depends. Like, it depends. Okay. We've yeah. done it all. <laughs> yeah, 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 And it yeah. just depends on where I am. 
at the at the yeah. moment. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm totally yeah. in it, if it's just flowing, then I'll just keep on going. Yeah. But if I get stuck, I may I may be stuck on a line for however long. Like I've been working on, on a song consistently for three months now, and I still don't like the bridge. You know, yeah. and I yeah. I play it you know every other day at least. So, <laughs> yeah, and it has to it be just depends. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, what do you say you're a perfectionist? In some aspects. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say in most aspects, but I, I'm perfectionist when it comes to things that I just do myself. So if I start a song and I'm not happy with it, then I will sometimes just trash it just because I feel like I can't improve on it. Mm -hmm. Even if it is like pretty good. Yeah. I will say that that's when the perfectionist side of me comes along. Other than that, I'm pretty easy going. I'm open to ideas and, um, I like making things work yeah yeah in this project the sable um is my song called falling in and that's one of those songs that just kind of came out really fast Mm -hmm. and that's a song that we ended up like finishing in 10 hours oh yeah yeah, even though 10 hours can seem like a lot i had i had a very strong idea and it's kind of about um like when you're falling into the same uh the same rotation and and you just kind of feel like shit. I mean, you, yeah. you're falling into this hole, um, and you don't know how to get out of that, and you don't know if you even want to because you mm-hmm. don't know what else there is. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as kind of dark as that song is, it does have, like, a positive side to it, where it's like, you know, you can get out of that hole, you can yeah. kind of move forward, but it is hard as all hell to do that. That's cool. Yeah. I like that concept. Yeah. Um... Favorite show you've ever played? Ever. Oh. Um. Oh man, there's so many good ones. Uh. Like it, with my old duo, Riss and Rach, we played a few shows where we just had just so many of our friends around and, and it was just super casual. Um. And it, it felt like we were playing in our backyard and I loved, I loved those shows. Uh. I think my first show I played at Hotel Cafe, um with dialogue at the time that was so much fun and such a cool experience because like hotel cafe was like one of my dream venues at the time um but i think i think my favorite show was uh, back in august august 10th i think it was when i had my release show as sable music okay and i got to play it all my songs for the first time and my family flew out to see me oh. and that was like yeah it was unreal that's awesome i was i was very proud and you know, it was a year in the making. We started this project last October. So okay. It was like a year in the making, and it was just, it was a lot of fun. Like, what's um, new? What's new? We're still writing. We're still going. Um, I have, I have a bunch of songs demoed out that I just want to get the final recordings for and, you know, share them with everyone and have them. Um, but I think the next thing for us is releasing my next single, um, and then doing a music video for that, which we so, have a few ideas for it. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, quirky and unique and very, uh, it's going to be very real to who I am. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So Excited. it's going to be fun though. It's, it's all, it's all lighthearted. <laughs> <laughs> Even though my songs are, I think the video, from uh, what we discussed yeah. is going to be fun. Cool. Yeah. Nice. When, when do you have a timeline? For that. Not yet. But no. Hoping in the spring sometime, of course. Okay. Okay. Late winter, spring. I want some <laughs> dates. On this. I know I do too. <laughs> um, we'll see in the you new year. Both. Um. Was it you said? Everything goes away. Get out of your head. And make it all go your way. Tied up now, a little too clean, you'll find. I don't know how she be skeletons you left behind. Give me your all, maybe you're wrong, maybe I'm right this time. All that I want, maybe you're not, maybe we're just. Worst eyes, what's left of us, what's best of all this. Shit, always can't shake me up, can't 
said Maybe we crossed the line The truth of what was Just a shadow of us And I'm gone Because you suddenly fade to the dust And give me your all Maybe you're wrong Maybe I'm right this time All that I want Maybe you're not Maybe we're just